Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Marianne, otherwise known as www.italianwifey on Instagram. So I'm just about to put together dinner and it's a new recipe for me. And I thought I would take you through the steps and show you exactly what I'm doing, which is a variation of the original recipe. So what I'm making is from Skinny Taste. It's her Spicy California Shrimp Stack. Now what she does is she splits her recipe into four servings and puts them into smaller bowls. She layers the ingredients, packs it in, turns it upside down and makes a stack. So I'm doing her recipe, but I'm not doing shrimp. I have some Trader Joe's sesame tuna, wild caught tuna that I need to use before expiration. So I'm flipping this recipe around and making my own version and it's spicy tuna stack. Now, it could be a poke bowl because I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it out of my bowl. And it's, I do write this recipe for four and it comes to four smart points on the MyWW Plus green plan. But since I always like to eat more, I'm splitting it tonight into two servings into larger bowls and my portion will be seven smart points for double the recipe, two servings on the MyWW Plus green plan. Not bad for two servings. So let me walk you through what I'm doing and using for this recipe. So I went ahead and first cooked a half a cup of rice. The rice I chose to use is California aromatic rice. I discovered this rice in Charleston, South Carolina, and I don't use any other rice since that time. I love it. It's aromatic. You store it in the freezer to keep it fresh and it's a tad bit lower in points. So this is a half a cup of dry rice cooked with a cup and a half of water boiled. And then you add two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Once you do that, once the rice is cooked and you added your vinegar, you're going to lay it out on a cookie sheet to cool. So my rice is now cool and ready to split in half and put into the bowls. I also have a cup of cucumbers and Skinny Taste uses chives. I didn't have chives, but I do have scallions. So I went ahead and did cukes and scallions to put into this recipe. I have two ounces of avocado. I have four teaspoons of Miracle Whip Light and a teaspoon of sriracha. There's your spiciness. And then instead of shrimp, I have eight ounces, which is two four ounce packets of Trader Joe's sesame tuna. You can get this in the meat department um, where they have the turkey and chicken. On the very end, they'll have the uh, fish, the salmon, smoked salmon, um, tuna. So that's where you'll find this. So this is two packets, eight ounces, which means I'll have half of this or four ounces of protein in this dish. I think that covers everything. I'm going to top, once I serve this, I'm going to top it with um, everything but the bagel seasoning because I don't have sesame seeds and um, reduced sodium soy sauce. Those will be my toppings along with the um, mayo sriracha dressing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the process. So I am going to grab a spoon first. And I'm going to eyeball this because it's really going to be split into two. So I'm pretty much going to um, be on target for the points, especially when it comes to cucumbers, tuna, and you know, that is so forgiving points wise. So I'm putting the scallions and the cukes on the bottom. Um, nothing is added to it, no salt. And I just dumped some on the counter. But I will go ahead and get those escapees and put them right into the bowl. So that looks about even. So that's the first thing that goes into the bowl. I'm following the stacking method um, from Skinny Taste. Then you're going to add in your avocado. Um, I think she said a quarter avocado. I weigh my avocado. For some reason, I think I get more. So this is two ounces of avocado that I'm splitting in half. And 
putting that in. And I'm just going to move it about to evenly distribute it. This side has more. There we go. Okay. So the avocado is in. Next comes the tuna. So like I said, this is eight ounces of tuna. I'm going to go ahead, can you see it? Yeah. Nope, down, there we go, I'm losing my tuna. I'm gonna go ahead and split it down the middle. Okay. Tuna in. This is a lot of tuna, and I love tuna, and it's so low in points. Well, on the green plan, it's points, but if you're purple or blue, that's free. Love it, it's zero points. I do miss being on blue because everything is zero, like the things I love, like eggs and um, yogurt, fish, chicken, the ground turkey, 99% fat-free ground turkey. So now this already has sesame on it, the tuna, so it's gonna add a little crunch in there um, because she adds, uh, Skinny Taste adds the sesame on top, um, which I still will. So, okay, this is everything, and then comes the rice. See, this is gonna be perfect, these size bowls. They're holding everything quite nicely. So the last thing I need to put in is the rice. And I'm going to again split the rice in half and it goes into the bowl. And this is a half a cup of rice cooked on the stove top. And once it's cooked, I added two tablespoons of rice vinegar. So I would love to see if this comes out of the bowl as a stack. Should I try it? I don't know. Maybe try one. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it. So I'm really packing it down, so hopefully it will come out as a stack. Okay, one bowl done. And we'll do the second bowl, adding the rice. I'm using my hands a lot. I did wash my hands before I started this. I always wash my hands before I cook, but it's ever so important now with COVID to constantly wash your hands to make sure that you don't have any contamination going on. Okay. Pressing this down again. I almost want to turn it over and see if this will work. It's pretty even. I did pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean up and let this sit for a minute to hopefully form a little um, stack in that bowl. So if I decide to turn it over, it'll come out hopefully in one piece instead of going into a blob. We shall see. If it goes into a blob, I'm gonna serve it as is on the plate and just top it with the top toppings and call it tuna mist stack. I don't know. But okay, I'll be right back after I clean this up and let this sit a while to kind of form into that little uh, bowl shape. I'm ready to actually unmold the tuna stacks. Now to remind you, this is Skinny Tastes Spicy California Shrimp Stack, which I made into a tuna stack. Um, or it could be a tuna poke bowl, just add the ingredients and I would start with the rice first and then layer things on top into a poke bowl. Um, I love them, I get them at Mariano's. So since I'm eating outside today, it's 81 degrees in Chicago land. I'm using my outdoor dinnerware, which is plastic. I love these plates, I got them at Sur La Table. Just love them. So I'm gonna give this a try. Let me do it this way first. Okay. Oh my gosh, it came out. Fantastic. There's 
just a little piece of tuna that's left. I'm going to stick it in. How great, no, I'm not. I'm gonna eat it. How great is this? Oh my gosh, it looks perfect. I have to add the toppings, but let me unmold the other one. That is so cute. Seven points for all this for dinner. And that's gonna be filling with the rice. Gonna give it a try. Do it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one came out even better. Put that little cucumber back. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love these. Okay, get those out of the way. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look at that. How cute is that? That's seven smart points. That's a big portion. Well, actually, it's two servings because one serving is quite not, not enough for me. So I'm using losing my cucumbers on this one. Then you're supposed to put one teaspoon of soy sauce. If you had four, you were supposed to put a teaspoon on each, um, but I'm still only gonna use a teaspoon. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on the top. And I got it on the plate. I'll have to clean that up. Okay. Just a little sprinkling of the, um, soy sauce, and then let's see, I think I'll do the, oh, you can't see me, can you? Let's move these back, I'll move back too. Okay, I'm going to do the uh, Miracle Whip. I think Skinny Taste does it with um, mayo. I have the Miracle Whip. So I'm just going to put a little bit on each. I guess you can't really drizzle it because it's thick. I don't know how it's supposed to look, but I'm going with this. Okay, a little bit more on that one. And then I don't have sesame seed. So I'm using everything but the bagel and just sprinkling. You're supposed to put a teaspoon on, but I'm just sprinkling a little on the sauce. Oh my gosh. Wait till my husband sees this, what I made for dinner. I'm impressed. Skinny taste, this is a great idea. Look at how beautiful that is. And I know that's not the right shape bowl. It should be probably a straight one you know, versus like the, I think they were using ramekins maybe in her um, recipe, but I wanted double serving. So this is the bowl I chose, but I still think it looks absolutely beautiful. So guys, that's it. That's my dinner for tonight. Even though it's Taco Tuesday, I'm making Japanese food, tuna poke or tuna stack. So check out Skinny Taste's original recipe. My recipe will be at the end of this video. Thanks so much for stopping by my kitchen. Stay well and be kind to one another. Until next time, ciao.